The impact that this highly transmissible new variant is having on professional sports, where positive cases are surging there in the NBA. My beloved Chicago Bulls, who are fantastic this year, became the first team, however, to have games postponed this season with 10 players on the Bulls in COVID protocols. In the NHL, Calgary's next three games are postponed after six players and the staffer also entered COVID pro protocols. They're the third team this season to postpone a game in the NHL because of COVID. In the NFL, we got seven teams now in enhanced COVID protocols. The Browns, my beloved but lousy Bears, uh, Falcons, Lions, Rams, and the Washington football team, who need a name still. Uh, at least 75 players on those teams testing positive for COVID in just the past two days. This has clearly had a visible impact on teams. The Browns placing 14 players on reserve in the past two days, including their starting quarterback, Baker Mayfield, having a good year, and coach Steven, Kevin Stefanski. So... Let's break this down. Joining us now, ESPN senior NFL insider Adam Schefter with his take. Uh, Adam Shefty, if I can call you that, 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 thank you so much for being with us uh, on this. Look, every institution, every business is going to face something like this. But with three weeks remaining now in the NFL season, teams fighting for playoff berths, you know, what impact is this going to have? And does the league have to rethink how to handle it with this incredibly transmissible variant coming ashore? Listen, it's tried to get its hands around it, uh, Terry and Kenneth, but the fact of the matter is, as you mentioned, it's here in society, it's here in the NBA, it's here in the National Football League, and there has been a spike here this week in cases. The NFL has had the highest number of cases since the pandemic began. The Browns the past two days have put 14 players on the reserve COVID-19 list, but here's the truth of the matter. Last year, the NFL expanded practice squads to 16 players per team. Teams are signing players off their practice squads. The NFL is a big business. The games are going to go on. And despite the fact that the Browns will be missing key players on Saturday for a big game against the Las Vegas Raiders, and despite the fact that the Rams are missing key players for their big game on Sunday against the Seattle Seahawks, right now, there's no talk of cancellations, postponements, there is talk of promoting players on the practice squads and having the games go on. Now, last year, there were eight postponements, eight games that were pushed back a day or two or three, whatever it may be. The difference is, at that point, vaccinations weren't as readily available as they are now. Boosters weren't as readily available as they are right now. The NFL has encouraged players, coaches, front office members to get vaccinated and so the league is not looking to postpone or cancel these games. The league is looking for the games to go on. And right now, that is the plan, despite the fact that the league is facing something of a COVID issue here across the NFL. Yeah. So the, it will go on, but still they have to be discussing changes to COVID-19 protocols um, with the players union, I'm sure. Obviously, as you mentioned, the postponements last year, the league, the players and the fans, the owners, they don't want to see what happened uh, in the 2020 season. So what changes, if any, are they making here? Well, the, listen, you need the cooperation of the NFL and the NFL Players Association to sign off on these issues together. The NFLPA has called for daily testing. The NFL has resisted doing that for the time being. Right now, players can return to play with two negative tests within 24 hours if they are COVID positive. Uh, maybe they could reduce that number of tests. Maybe they could reduce the time waiting to get players back sooner. I mean, those are things that could be discussed, but they're going to have to be agreed to by both sides. Now, the owners are at a meeting today in Dallas, Texas, owners for all 32 teams across the league, and COVID is a topic of conversation there right now because as one NFL executive told me today, it's a mess right now. But it's a mess for the NFL, just like it's a mess, as you men mentioned, across many sectors of our society right now. And the question is, how do businesses, how does this country address the mess that we're in right now with Omicron mm. coming, with the spike in COVID cases here across the National Football League? I think the NFL is trying to get a handle on it just the way that everybody else is. Absolutely, it does feel like this is gonna require a different response. But let me ask about the players uh, who make the game happen, right? So what mm -hmm. are you hearing from the players themselves about this surge in cases? And if you could also answer the question, you know, obviously athletes, professional athletes, their body is their career at this point. They've yeah. worked so hard on it. A lot of them reluctant about the vaccine. Have you got a, a sense 
uh, of the percentage of NFL players who are vaccinated, unvaccinated. How, how are they going through this pandemic at this moment? Well, I think everybody approaches it differently. Everybody makes up their own rules. I think the majority of the players, they want to keep playing. And they figure that either they've been vaccinated or they're willing to take the risk and not be vaccinated because for whatever reason, they don't believe in it. And so I think by and large, the majority of the players want to keep playing and want to find ways to keep playing. And I don't think we've seen any evidence that the virus is transmittable during the course of games, right? We wondered that last year, we were in the beginning of the pandemic and athletes and competitions were starting to take place. Could they exchange it? We saw post-game hugs with players who later were testing positive for COVID and the other person didn't get it. Uh, again, highly transmittable. We know that. But it doesn't seem as if that has been the course of instances during game action itself. And so I think the players want to keep playing, figure out ways to keep playing. Their paychecks depend on it. And again, it's up to the NFL and the NFLPA to figure out ways to modify it, to try to make players, coaches safer than ever before, if that's even possible at a time like this when cases are spiking. Absolutely. It is NFL, an institution going through this like all of us are. Adam Schefter of ESPN, thanks very much. And as always, go Bears. <laughs> Thank you, Terry and Kenneth. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.